Happy New Year's, my peeps! OMG, the year is ending. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, you girls got you. If you want a not so subtle, kind of in your face, glam makeup look for your New Year's Day party, I got you. Of course, the lips are matte because y'all gonna be kissing at 12 o'clock, aren't you? I know you be kissing at 12 o'clock. Don't think I've been seeing you. <laughs> Anyways, I kept the lip matte for y'all, so y'all can do your thing at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. If you guys wanna see how I did this look see right here, then stick around and keep watching. First, we're gonna start off by priming our lid with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This will prevent our eyeshadow from creasing and also this fix the discoloration on my lids. Now using this lighter shade here from my Kat Von D Shade Plus Light Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bones. From the same palette, I'm using that shade right there, and this is going to be kind of like her transition color, so I'm going to blend this all into the crease. So once blended to my liking, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my NYX Gel Liner. I'm going to apply this to my lid. Is this just going to act like an eyeshadow base, and this will allow my lid color to really pop more. Now for my Lime Crime Venus 2 palette, I'm going to be applying the shade Mud and I'm using a 221 brush from MAC to just blend this into my crease. I'm going to go back into my Cap On D Shape Plus Light palette and apply that black shade right there. I'm just going to apply this on the outer V of my eyes using a Sigma E45 brush. Going back into my Venus 2 palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade Pigeon right there and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Well, except the outer view where we applied the black, of course. We're going to kind of leave that area. Now to get rid of any harsh line, I'm just going to go back over this crease here with the MAC 221 brush. And using the Sigma E45 brush from before, I went ahead and applied some more black onto the outer V. From the same Venus 2 palette, we're going to pick up the shade Fly right there. And we're just going to apply this on the inner tear dot and kind of buff it out to get rid of, you know, any harshness. For ring liner today, I'm going to be using my NYX gel liner and I'm using a MAC 209 brush to do so. As you can see, it started off a little bit crazy. <laughs> going too close to my to my eyebrows but I made it work. I've already applied my Miracle Worker moisturizer and my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer. For foundation today I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier foundation and that one is in toffee and I'm mixing it with my Black Opal Total Coverage Spot and Scar Concealer but before that I'm going to do a bit of color correcting and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and I forgot what shade this is, but it's the orange one. So once I've gotten all my problematic areas, I just damp my little sponge here with my Max Fix Plus, and I'm going to buff that all out to kind of even out the skin a bit. Now using my Morphe E31 brush, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation all over my face. Next I'm going to be highlighting the usual spots on my face and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer to do so. And I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend it all out. Now to set those areas on my face that I highlighted, I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup Set In Powder. This is my first time using the powder. I absolutely love it. It is true. It is like a lot finely mill than the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but I will still use the Ben Nye Banana Powder every now and again. I'll mix it up. 
Of course, to set the rest of my face that I did not highlight, I'm going to be applying my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. This one is in the shade Medium, and I yeah, I just applied this onto the spots I didn't highlight. For bronzer, I'm going to be applying my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, and this one is in the shade Deep 04. And I'm using a Sigma F40 brush to apply it. This kind of acts as a transition shade for me when I'm applying my contour. And for contour, I'm going to be applying my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW50. And I'm using a Real Technique contour brush to apply it in the hollows of my cheeks. To sharpen up my contour, I'm going to reapply some of that Sasha Buttercup uh, Setted Powder right below where I applied my contour shade before and let it bake for a bit. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be applying a black eyeliner and I'm not being too careful because I'm going to be using a Sigma E20 brush to smudge this and smoke this baby right on out. I also went ahead and applied some of the Pigeon Shade from the Venus 2 palette and I'm using the same MAC 212 brush to do so. For lashes, I'm going to be using Red Cherry Lashes. This one is in the style 415 and as you can see, I'm just using a tweezer to apply. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Midnight Black Mascara as always. And I apply a couple coats of this onto my lower lashes and I also apply a bit onto my upper lashes to kind of blend it in with the falsies. Now that we're done baking, I'm just using my Sigma F30 brush to dust off that excess powder. For blush, we're applying Max Format Frost and I'm going to be using my Morphe M105 brush to apply this blush. <laughs> So for highlight today, we're going to be using the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow and I'm going to be using this to apply the typical places on my face that I want to be standing out, the highest point of the cheekbone, I applied some down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and also my brow bone, I applied a bit there as well. You will notice that I forgot to contour my nose so that I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50 as I used before to contour my nose so you'll notice that in the video and then I just use my powder brush to kind of smoothen it out a bit to not have it that harsh we are then going to move on to lips and I'm gonna hydrate my lips with my sugar advanced therapy lip treatment so I'm going to apply that first before I apply my lipstick. To outline my lip, I'm going to be using Max Cork Lip Liner. And I'm sorry, I wasn't planning on using such a dark lipstick. But I ended up using Anastasia Beverly Hills Vamp Liquid Lipstick and I lost the footage. I don't know what the hell happened. So this right here is the Vamp lipstick on its own, but I didn't really want it to be that dark. So I went ahead and applied my Lime Crime liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Shroom. Sorry, Shroom. So yeah, I applied a bit of that in the center and kissed my lips together. As you can see, I am applying my wig cap because I'm about to throw that wig on to complete this look. This wig I had bought from AliExpress a few years ago. It was long and ombre before and I just kind of cut it myself and did that bob look and put some curl up in it. Now for this final step, we're going to spray our Fix Plus onto this damp beauty blender and this is going to get rid of that powdery look that I might have. So I use this to apply it all over my face. And that's a wrap! So yeah guys, that's the finishing result. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. Follow your girl on social media at SSL Makeup. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Again, Happy New Year's. Deuces my peeps. Deuces.